All right, so it's a fucking million degrees in my car right now because it's a million fucking degrees in Phoenix. This place is so hot. It really sucks. I love this city. It's been a good home to me for many, many years. Shout out to Cave Creek, Arizona. Go Falcons. Anyway, fucking brutally hot. So I got the AC on, so sorry if there's more noise pollution than normal. I know these are shitty recordings. That is all going to change very, very soon. I'm super excited, but I don't want to get ahead of myself because I uh, I suffer from ADHD. So there's this chance that the timetable may be screwy. Anyway, what the fuck did I want to talk about? So I'm on this Wittgenstein. Uh, I'm fucking that name up, I know, but Ludwig Wittgenstein. He's a philosopher, German dude. World War One era, all that shit. Um, I don't know. The whole idea of philosophy is really hard for me to kind of just get my mind around what it even fucking means, you know? But in that spirit, one of the things that Wittgenstein, I'm just going to call him fucking Ludwig, uh, one of the things Ludwig struggles with is the precision of language. And yeah, I get that. You know, language is imprecise and it gives low thinkers permission to hide in the shadows. Like, you can't have a drugs conversation, you know? Because that fucking word is radioactive and it means a million different things. But no matter how, like, narrow you try to address issues or, or even just conversations on the topic of drugs... You know, low thinkers will hide in the shadows. Like, they'll force you out of the specifics that you use to qualify the word. So instead of having a more robust language where we can talk about shit with precision and specificity, we're stuck with things like drugs. Where you can't have a conversation about plant-based drugs, um you know, kind of the critical race theory version of, uh, you know, marijuana and like the racist nature of its prohibition and so on and so forth. Right. Uh, like you can't have that conversation in the same breath as talking about, uh, the mechanisms of addiction, you know, like, cause hard drugs, like, like actual hard narcotic drugs that have high abuse and high addictive addiction potential that's not the same conversation you know like there are people out there who have never done any who've never had a drug like lifestyle impulse anything like that you know never they're anti-drug so just all of it you know and they have a surgery or an injury that forces them into where they have to take or, you know, and have tos obviously, you know, I don't want to lose specificity there, but let's say they take a painkiller and it flips a switch in your brain, you know, that is a different conversation, you know, but this all gets swept under the rug of drugs, you know, like, addiction isn't even a specific enough word because it comes in all shapes and sizes you know there's enough consistency in the pathology where you can have uh, kind of universal strategies for their treatment you know the anonymous programs those things are fucking fantastic because regardless of all the different ways that addiction can manifest itself breaking the pattern, lifting somebody up, you know, having rituals built around reinforcing that they're in a safe and supportive community, you know, and kind of like a, like a behavior manual to say like, here's how you fucking live. Like, here's, here's what, here's what you have to do to be normal, right? Like disrupt the behavior, hold yourself accountable, you know, be honest, all these things, like, they're pretty fucking universal, so, 
That's why every type of anonymous program exists. Gambling, overeating, uh, drugs, alcohol, even like compulsive behaviors, like, uh, you know, sex behavior and shit like that. So, uh, it's not a waste of time to force a conversation to be specific. And it's not a waste of time to spend as much time as necessary in a conversation slamming on the brakes and saying that's, you know, it's unproductive to start spewing out in all directions. If we're going to have a conversation about drugs, we're not going to lump psychedelics in with opiates in with, you know, every fucking thing that you can think of. Like, this is not how... It's, there's no value to that conversation. You're just making sounds at one another. You know, be precise. The more precise you are, the more effective the strategies that you're going to develop are going to be. And that's how problems get solved. All right, I love you all.